Hello, I'm Shawnee Kish and I am a two-spirit singer-songwriter. I am Mohawk on my mother's side who is status from the Six Nations Grand River and I have always used music as medicine. I feel like I was almost born with the spirit um, to share my life experiences through song, through voice, through art. Um, I discovered it in my teenage years when I was struggling with my identity. Um, I was, I didn't quite know my culture yet. I didn't quite know what it meant to be two spirit. Um, and I definitely didn't feel a sense of pride and belonging with who I was. So I struggled deeply and I leaned heavily on music and creating and songs to heal through that time period. And I still do today. So it's very important to me to be able to share those experiences, but also advocate for um, what I like to say my younger self, but I see that in so many young people today who um, also need to know that they're important and we can use music to share that. My latest release was my EP Revolution and it's very eclectic, I would say. It's a blend of different collaborations. I worked with Serena Ryder, Max Kerman from the Arkells, Sarah Quinn from Tegan and Sarah, uh, it, I would say it's very eclectic purposefully. I wanted the chance to experiment. Part of being an artist is, um, growing, you know, who I am now is not who I'm going to be next year. Who I was yesterday is not who I was five years ago. So I, with this EP, I wanted to embrace experimenting, but the message remains the same. You know, I wanted to celebrate who I am and how far I've come in my healing journey. Um, and however we painted that with whatever brush, it was different for, for every collaboration, but um, it was a chance for me. I wanted to celebrate a bit. I wanted, there's some serious um, moments where I get to express and cry every time I sing the song for me because it's very personal um, to my journey of self-acceptance, uh, but it was also a time to celebrate and I wanted to do that, so, and, and I got to do that. So the songs are very eclectic, for sure. I feel honored and I feel grateful to be nominated at this year's Juno Awards for um, Adult Alternative Album, as well as Contemporary Indigenous. It makes me think about how purposeful everything in my life was everything had meaning. And even if I didn't know it at the time, how it contributed to where I am today, how important it is to continue growing and learning and how uncomfortable that is at times, but to keep on that journey because um, platforms as an artist, to have a platform, we're lucky and there's there could be, there's power in that. There could be a lot of good done with that stage and that platform. And that is what I think about with this platform and this stage, um, to hear my name and to know that that could be used to share what I believe in and what I want to accomplish in this world, which is to leave a trail, to leave a road that somebody might need to use in their life. The same way that I have used many artists when I was younger and needed a sense of hope or belonging. And I used the path of other artists who I've got, you know, the opportunity to listen to and hear. So it means a lot. I'm very grateful. My favorite song to perform since I was a little girl has always been What's Up by Four Non Blondes. It's an anthem to pull people in, no matter what walk of life, no matter how you're feeling that day, no matter where you come from or what you've been through. What's Up by Four Non Blondes has power to change your mind to include you, to sing along, to feel, to think. Uh, I think it's just the greatest song that has ever been written. That's my opinion. I love singing it.
I wish I wrote it. Maybe I'll write something like it one day. <laughs> it's my favorite song. A song that I would recommend to a first time listener, I think would be a song from my recent EP, Revolution, called For Me. It's definitely the most personal song I've ever written. I cried when I wrote it. I cry sometimes when I sing it um, because it's so true to the journey. Well, thank you for taking the time to spend time with me. Um, I hope we get to cross paths at some point in person in the future, maybe get a show. I am really excited about continuing to grow as an artist and I'm working on a debut album, uh, which is terrifying and exciting all at the same time. Um, I'm also, I have a, a many dates this summer coming up across Canada um, with live shows. So. I hope to see you out there and um, take care.